What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free add-on for Blender that allows you to bridge edges that aren't facing in the same direction. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Blender has a built-in function for bridging edge loops, right? So if I tab into edit mode, these two faces are in the same group and I right click and I click on the option for bridge faces, this is going to fill in the space right? So that works great for faces that are facing the exact same direction. And so you can use the bridge faces function in here and you can add some cuts and then you can use the blend path or blend surface function in order to do some of this. And so you can do some twisting and some other things like that. And I mean, I, I guess it works fine, but this tool that we're looking at now is gonna give you a lot more control over this process. And so Quick Bridge from Kushiro is a free Blender add-on that you can use in order to make this process a little bit better, right? So he even says in here, it's close to the built-in bridge tool, but it's got some different functions. So it just does a better job of bridging in here. It gives you more control over the twist. Um, and just in general, it seems to be a pretty good tool for um, creating these bridged edge loops in more of a smooth fashion. So you can download this. You can just type in a value of zero and click on I want this. Or if you want to donate to him, um, you can put in a value there as well. So I do always um, encourage you to support Blender developers wherever you can. But that's your call. You can download it for free just by typing a zero in right there. And so the way that it works is you install the add-on and then inside of edit mode, note that your objects probably need to be in the same group for this to work very well. But if you right click in edit mode, you can click on the option for quick bridge. And so what it's going to do is it's going to give you a menu right here that gives you the ability to adjust the number of cuts like this, as well as the size right here. So this is pretty similar to what the blender tool allows you to do, but what it does a lot better is it does a lot better on the rotation right here. And so you can use this to adjust and add twists to this rotation. You can also check the box to auto smooth that rotation to get a smoother result. And so note that if you want this to be a perfectly round shape, you can click on circular mode right here in order to make this a half circle along this object. And so this does some really cool things. Like for example, you can use it to bridge loops that aren't facing in the same direction, right? So this loop is facing this way. This one is facing this way. If I right click and do a quick bridge, what that's going to do, and we're going to turn off circular mode because that's not going to work in this particular situation. But what that's going to do is that's going to give you the ability to nicely and smoothly bridge this just like this. You can adjust the size to adjust how far this bulges out like this. You can use the cuts to set how smooth this is going to be. And then if you decide that you want to add a twist, this is going to give you the ability to do that as well. And so you can use this for a lot of different kinds of shapes. So for example, let's say that I wanted to start adding some Let's say that I wanted to start bridging some loops between these Suzannes right here. We could do that this way, no problem. And then we could select another surface right here, and it's going to allow us to bridge that. So you could do that as many times as you want. Um, that's getting a little bit trippy, but kind of cool. Um, so you can definitely use it to do that. Another cool thing about this is this is also going to work on surfaces that have multiple different sides. So these, for example, are more than quads, but if I do a quick bridge, and we'll go ahead and set our rotation back to zero. We're gonna bring our size out a little bit. Notice how this is coming in here and this is using the eight sides of those surfaces in order to generate the shape right here. So you can use this on shapes that are more than just quad shapes inside of Blender as well. All right, so I'll link to this add-on in the notes down below. If you see any other cool free resources for Blender, hit me up in the comments down below and let me know. I'd love to cover more free resources on this channel. They're just a little harder to track down. But let me know what you think about this add-on. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.